Top of first, Ron Gant. Need we say more? The bargain of the year in baseball. We've said it before. Jim Bowden, genius. Reds lead it one to nothing. Jose Rijo getting the defensive help. Jose Vizcaino with the shot to right, but Reggie Sanders. The team with more Sanders per capita than anybody in baseball climbs the wall and takes the home run right away. He is into leather. Tied at five now in the seventh. McElroy in relief. Rico Bronia goes deep into the Queensboro night. Two-run shot, his ninth, and the Mets come from behind to beat the first-place Reds. 7-6 the final, and the Mets have won three straight. Yes, for the first time this year, nine of the Reds' ten hits went for extra bases. The Second inning facing Mike Trombley, and that is ball four. In the third, two out, and the count is 0-2 to Omar Vizquel. But Omar comes through, singles to center. Why is that important? Because the next batter is Carlos Baerga. Double to the gap in right, scoring Vizquel all the way from first base, one to nothing, Cleveland. With the score tied, 1-1. Back to Murray in the fourth. It's a pop-up, shallow center field. Rich Becker is there, makes the catch. Now to the top of the sixth and more Murray. The look at second. Another look, now the pitch. Murray hits the ground ball through the right side. In the right field, a base pass. Eddie Murray has done it. Yes, he has done it. Murray joining the 3,000 club as his teammate Dave Winfield snaps the photo and Eddie Murray with a tip of the cap. He and Pete Rose are the only two switch hitters to reach that plateau. Murray. 3,000 as a goal, so therefore it's, you know, I'm just going to try and continue. I mean, that's a way of our uh, approach most season is just. You know, just trying to do the best you can. And 3,000 as a number has never been anything I've really looked at. Uh, I'm really glad to have it out of the way. And wow. Jim Edmonds trying to extend his hit streak to 23. Off his foot. Or 24. He would foul it off his ankle and it would end as 23. 0 for 5, 2 Ks. Bottom of seven. Scott Brocious on third. Ricky Henderson shot to left. Rex the Wonder Dog cannot fetch. Brocious scores. Tied at four. Top of nine. Eck is on to preserve the tie. He does not do it. Greg Myers doubles down the right field line. Spike Owen comes around. Angels up five to small four. And so Lee Smith would come on. Had a streak of 19 straight saves before this week. Deep breath. Mike Bordick in the bottom of nine. And he knocks one opposite field. Tim Salmon with the throw in right. Here comes Bordick going for two. Is he safe or is he out? You make the call. Apparently he is... Dead meat, but the umpire says safe, blocked out by De Sarcino. What's going on? Now Sierra gets nothing against Smith, so there's two outs for Mark McGuire, and I'll bet you a bean five to one he doesn't hit a home run. Are you kidding me, McGuire? Of all things, with two outs in the ninth inning, I would have bet that he wouldn't have done that, but by gummy did. A's win it eight to five in their last at bat. McGuire's home run is 22nd of the year. That leads the major leagues. Jim Edmonds, as we mentioned, has his streak cut down at 23 games. Joey Hamilton facing Bonds. And that is a solo shot the opposite way. Barry, he's mad. He's mad. One nothing San Francisco. In the sixth, 4-2 Giants, but Mark Leiter's in trouble. Two on, Brad Osmus. And Lewis. Knocks Ball gets away from Darren Lewis. Two runs score, Melvin Nieves. Bowls over, Kurt Manwaring retired at four. Next batter is Andujar Cedeno. Up the middle, RBI single. Leiter is gone, it's 5-4 San Diego. It's 6-4 Padres, bottom of the ninth. Trevor Hoffman facing Bonds with two on. Good night, game over, drive home safely. Three-run shot for Bonds to win it as the Giants, in dramatic fashion, 7-6. Funny thing is, the Giants and A's are very rarely both home at the same time in the Bay. Rockies and Dodgers in the first double steal for Colorado. Andres Galarraga, big cat, safe at second. Larry Walker comes home from third. The double steal works, 2-0 Rockies. In the third, Dante Bichette. He's off and running. Check out the phantom tag by Delano DeShields. Bichette still called out. In the third, Tom Candiotti is up. The Rockies with a little bit of D. Line shot to right field. Larry Walker chugging and makes the diving catch. Yes. Lasorda's team down 2-1, two, two outs in the ninth, so he rubs Delino's head and then gives him a kiss. How good is Tommy's smooch? What is it worth? Mitch Webster with two on, flies to right. Tommy, 2-1 Rockies. They move back into first place, and the seesaw that is the National League West, Kevin.
Rangers and last place Mariners. 3-1 Texas in the fourth. Benji Gill at the plate. And that is a drive deep off of Solomon Torres. You be the judge, fair or foul? The Mariners' bullpen says, hey, come on, that's foul. Replay shows it go foul, apparently. But it counted anyway. 4-1 Rangers. Juan Gonzalez, deep to left. Two-run shot, and you want more of Juan. Juan as in gone. Two homers for Juan Gonzalez. Texas cruises 10-2. Gonzalez drives in five. Kevin Gross, who entered the game with an ERA over nine, goes to the Phils for the first time since 90, facing Jim Eisenreich, and gets him to go straight to his room. His counterpart, Green, against Jeff Blauser. Same treatment. We go to top of seven. one nothing Braves. Javi Lopez at bat, singles to right. Mike Kelly's going to try to score. Eisenreich the throw, and don't save dinner for Kelly because he is late. Still one to nothing Braves after the good defense. Bottom of seven, the Phillies' bats would come alive. Charlie Hayes on third, Lenny Dykstra on first, Morandini on the money. RBI single, Hayes would score. We're tied at one. Tony Longmire is up next. His RBI single the opposite way. Dykstra comes around. Phillies take the lead, two to one. Top of nine. Heath Cliff Slocum, if you got him, is on, and he gets Dwight Smith with the hook, and Slocum would strike out the side in the ninth, and the Phillies win it 3-1. to one. Braves have lost all five games against the Phillies this year. Tyler Green allows just one run through seven and two-thirds. Philly now leads the Braves by four in the East. Expos trying to hit the 500 mark against the Marlins. Flashback to Sunday. Carlos Perez got a concussion in the dugout when he got hit by a ball back on Friday and still suffering. Jeff Conine smacks one to left over the Teal Monster, his 12th Jones of the year. Two to nothing Marlins lead. Expos offense not quite as good. Tim Laker at bat, Chris Hammond, and you can see the ball drop right off the table. One of seven strikeouts for Hammond. Jeff Shaw warming up, ready to come in, but he came in just a pitch too late. Perez against Colburn, and you can dial nine. That's long distance over the monster. Perez, don't do it, don't do it, Please, don't. It's not worth it, you never need to do that. Marlins, a winner over the Expos 10 to one. Conine records the fifth four hit game of his career. Chris Hammond lowers his ERA to 2.27. That trails only Greg. First, Pat Borders at third. Tom Goodwin with an opposite field single off Alvarez. Borders scores 1-0 KC. Mark Gubisa does the rest. Two men on in the third facing Frank Thomas. The big hurt, smoke. Dead on and top of D it, a for Gubisa. Ozzie Guillen. That ball hit hard. How David Howard it? turns it into a double play as the Royals win it 1 0. So after racking up 17 runs on Thursday, the Sox come up with the bagel on Friday. Gubisa, seven innings for the win. Chicago's win streak ends at seven. First place Red Sox hosting second place Detroit. Jose Canseco at the plate. Look out, Jose. High and tight from Mike Gardner. Jose doesn't like it. Has words with Ron. Hey, Jose, this is a family show. You can't use those words with Ron Tingley there. Next pitch. Jose, ooh, a little curveball. He's rocking back. Next pitch. Goodbye. And gone. The laser shot over the monster. Boston down 6 4. Still in the sixth. Boston sends eight men to the plate. Luis Alisea driving in Tim Nairing to tie it up at six. And Travis Fryman with a bloop single to right, scoring Chad Curtis in the top of the eighth as the Tigers. Pull it out to win 7-6. Tigers now back within five games of Boston. Spartans for Milwaukee. Here it comes. And there it goes. Joe Oliver taking Melito Perez deep for a three-run shot. Brew crew up 4-3. to three. And it gets worse for Perez, who had to leave because of a stiff shoulder. Two batters later, reliever Bob McDonald gives up the double to Oliver, who was three for five, the hitting hero in this game. Brewers coast 12-6. Oliver driving in five. Yes, blow some bubbles. Brewers end their seven-game slide. More bad news for the Yankees. Jimmy Key could not complete a tossing session. He's got...